and, and welcome to my science center. Science experiments are, are fun. So, today, we're going to learn about buoyancy and density. So I have these, and we're going to do an experiment. I have this container, or let's just say the boat, or whatever you want to call it. And then I have marbles and pebbles. So, right now, this is the water level here. And this black line. If I if I put it, there's no marbles in it or anything, except except air. <laughs> and then it's still over there. So so let's put. almost sing and it's about this level to the red line let's put a couple more marbles see if we're correct and pebbles Correct. It's up to the red line. So. The mass of the object is less or equal to the mass of the water display the mass of the displaced water in order for the object to float the mass has to be less or equal to the object the mass of the object is less or equal to the mass of the displaced water now let's do another experiment I have this bigger container and let's put all the marbles that I put here that I oops, had put the other one into here. Now it's up to the red line. Let's put a couple more, see if it's it will stick. Humongous marble. Almost up to the blue line. Orange. As you can see, it's almost up to the blue line. And if we have another orange, it will sink. sink. A little bit. One more. 
going to it will sink but as you can see it's up to the blue one just take it out ah, take this out I do not want any water in here Same theory. Mass. In order for the object to float, the mass of the object is less or equal to the mass of the water displaced water. Orange without peel. Sinks. Sinks. It sinks. Well, the orange with peel acts like a boat to the orange without peel. So, I want to show you the concept. The concept. <laughs> the math of displaced water by orange with peel, it floats, is bit greater or equal to the mass of orange with peel. The math of displaced water by orange without peel is less than orange without peel. So it it, it sinks, not drowns, it sinks. <sighs> so earlier you saw me go earlier you saw how a container can act like a like a boat from pebbles and marbles. And how a orange peel can act like a boat for a tangerine. Well, if I calculate, well, how can you create, how can you find out the Marbles? How can you find out the mass of the marbles if you don't have a scale? Well, the mass equals density times volume. This means length, if I do length, if I do length times width, Length is 12 inches or 30 centimeters, and then width is 7 inches and or 17.5 centimeters, and then the, the 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 height of the of the water displaced. Like let's do from the black line to the red line, which is about a half a centimeter and so if you do that so the volume equals 200 260 centimeter square cube not square cube <laughs> so we measured so we measured the volume 
is 260 centimeters cubed. And mass equals density times volume. Well, how, uh, how about density? Density equals one gram per centimeter cube. This is a thousand, vo a thousand centimeters cube volume. And this is one gram per centimeter cube. See? If I put it in the water just carefully, it barely even floats. Even if you just blow in it. It sinks. So, how do I find how do I find the, how do I find, how do I find the mass displaced water? Well, mass of the, the displaced water equals one gram per centimeter cube times the volume centimeter cube equals 260 grams. In conclusion, the mass of displaced water equals one gram per cubic centimeter times 260 cubic centimeters equals 260 grams. So, this container of marble weighs 260 grams. Say Thank you for watching.